Secretary, open all office shades. Secretary, close all office shades. Secretary, set all office shades to 10%. My name is Caroline, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the setup and operation of my Smart Wings, Smart Shades, Matter Over Thread motor with Apple Home, my Apple HomePod Mini, and Siri. Now let's get started. Now to be clear, this video is not sponsored. I paid for these shades with my own money. I spent about $500 per shade. And if you watch until the end of the video, I'll give you a minor cost breakdown and how I saved just a little bit of money on my shades. Now in this video, I'm gonna talk about my HomePod Mini as the hub for my smart shades. If I unplug this HomePod Mini, my shades go offline on my Apple Home app and I'm unable to control it from my Apple devices. You can use an Apple HomePod or Apple HomePod Mini as I'm using. There are other methods if you don't have an Apple HomePod or HomePod Mini, and I will link down to how you do it without a HomePod or HomePod Mini down in the description field. From the article that I read, it says the easiest way to do this is to buy a HomePod or HomePod mini. Now let's talk about setting up your smart shades with Apple Home. There are two ways to set up your smart shades with Apple Home, and you have to choose one or the other. Now, the first way is if you already have your matter over thread motor smart shades already set up on another platform, such as Amazon Echo or Google Home. If you've already set up on another platform with matter over thread, you need to go into the other platform that you have already set up your shades, copy that code into Apple Home. Now, if you have not set it up on another platform and this is your first smart home platform you're setting up your shades on, or you're only gonna use it with Apple Home, then what you need to do is first, you wanna get it into pairing mode. There's a button you hold down for six seconds at the very top of the shade. Now, once you get your shade in pairing mode, you wanna hit the plus button on your app. You wanna hit add accessory and there is an option to scan a setup code. Now the matter over thread QR code is right here at the bottom of your shade. So you wanna scan that QR code and it will go into a setup motion for you. I'm not gonna do that now because I've already done that. Also keep in mind, and I learned this a hard way myself, was once you put it into that pairing mode with the red light, it loses all the other devices it ever paired with. You only wanna do the red light pairing mode where you hold down the button for six seconds once, get it on one platform, and then copy that code to the other platforms. And that is how you get your matter over thread motor shades onto the Apple Home platform. Once you get your shades on your Apple Home app, you can say, hey Siri, set all shades to 60%. The shades are set to percent open. That is the default. Hey, set it to a certain percentage open. You've got everything in the same room. I have all my shades in the office. You can see all the office shades right here. I've named them one, two, and three. That's just my preference. You can name them whatever you want. So for example, let's go to shade one. If I tap, Shade one, I can see it's 40% open. I can adjust it individually, raising or lowering the shade, just like that. And then if I press this settings gear, I can see the battery level is at 80%, and yes, it is charging. Uh, yes, it is charging because I have it on a solar panel. Your question should be, hey, what if I wanna lower or raise the shades all at once? That's a great question. So there is a little button here, group with other accessories. Now that is accessible once you get into that specific shade. So I'm gonna hit group other accessories, and I'm gonna call it group name. I'm gonna call these office shades, and I'm going to put all of my office shades in one group, Hit done. And now it's all one shade when I go in, adjust them all exactly the same. So that's kind of cool. 
The other thing I'd like to point out once you get these shades all in one group is in the gear icon here, you can set an automation. I want all my shades to open every day at sunset. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit add automation and then you can choose events, when people arrive, people leave, time of day occur, accessories controlled, uh, sensor detects something, time of day, and then you can choose Monday through Friday, you can choose different days, you can choose sunrise, sunset, that way it automatically adjusts every day. Then you can choose next, and then you can choose what is this automation, and you can say the shades should be at 53% open. I can put it all the way open, and then I'm gonna hit done, sunrise, they all open, and there you go. So that is a really cool automation that you can do. And if you do want to adjust them individually, hit the gear icon, then it says accessories three, hit the three, and then you can see where they are and then you can adjust them individually. That is adjusting the shades with my Apple Home app on my phone. I also wanna go over just a couple of troubleshooting tips if your smart shades stop responding to your smart home apps. Number one, check to make sure that your smart home hub, whichever one it is that you're using, is plugged in and connected to the internet. Make sure your internet is up. Make sure your power is up. Devices do tend to fall asleep after a while. They kind of disconnect, it's wireless. So if you don't use it for a while, they might disconnect or they just might disconnect on their own because they feel like it. I don't know. Some of the troubleshooting steps I take, if all of my shades are not working, the first thing I do is I power cycle my hub. So whatever hub that is, that could be my Apple HomePod mini or my Google Home Nest or my Amazon Echo. If it's just one or two shades that are down is I use my remote control and I put it on whichever shade is not working and I just have it go up all the way up and then all the way down. Just wake it up a little bit. As promised at the beginning of this video, I'm gonna talk about how much I paid for these shades. Now my shades are 45 inches wide by 115 inches long. The base price for that roller shade blackout was about $400. I also paid for the Matter Over Thread motor, which is the most expensive motor at the time of the recording of this video. That was about $95. I also paid for solar panels because my ceilings are 10 feet tall and I didn't want to climb up on a ladder. The solar shades were $50 each. I also purchased one of these remote controls. This remote control specifically is for five channels, so I can operate five shades or you can put multiple shades on a channel. And this was about $16. And that's kind of a cost breakdown on what I spent on these shades. They do have periodic sales. For example, I think I looked at it around Black Friday and I think they had about 10% off a purchase of $1,500 or more. I missed out on that sale. I waited until the New Year's sale, which was about 8% off. Hopefully they'll have more sales throughout the year as most retailers do. If you can't wait until a holiday sale, there is a welcome five code, promo code I saw somewhere where I think you can get 5% off. Now you can't combine promo codes, so you can't have the New Year's 8% code and then put on additional welcome five, 5% 5 off. I tried that, that did not work. So. And that is my summary of the Smart Wings Matter Over Thread Motor. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>